Hello. In this video, I'm going to share how to deal with scales when using the Delta Marsh SOP. So the Delta Marsh SOP is a very useful node for smoothing out the formations, and especially in character setups, when using scaled skeletons, it requires a properly prepared reference geometry so that the geometry is smoothed nicely, even when parts of the skeleton are scaling. So with that, let's take a look at our scene here. So first we have a character geometry and a character skeleton. Then the geometry is captured using the joint biharmonic capture. And this capture is then stashed. There's also a simple rig pose node that is used for posing the character. And all this is used here in the join the form node. So if I rotate the skeleton, the join the form will deform the skeleton properly. And then at the very end, we have the delta marsh SOP, and the first input is the deformed geometry for the join the form, and the reference geometry is the geometry in rest pose. In this case, we are using the capture geometry. So if we compare the results with delta marsh, and without delta mesh, we see we have a difference as the delta mesh will smooth out these deformations. So this works nicely until we start using the scale geometry. So for instance, if we take here the spine one or the root of the skeleton and just scale it down and now look at the geometry. We see that the geometry has broken down here in the delta mesh sub. If we compare it without the delta mesh, we see that it works nicely. So basically what we would like to have is the same geometry as before, but just smoothed out this region here. So what we would basically like to achieve is the same delta mesh result as before, but with scaled geometry. And the reason why this is not working is because we are using a reference geometry which is not scaled. So if you look at the capture geometry that we are using for the reference geometry here, and then looking at the deformed geometry, we see that, I want to maybe just scale it up a bit so you can at least see it better. So the capture geometry or the reference geometry for the delta mesh is at different scale than this one after join the form. So when dealing with scale, we have different options. If we are dealing with just the character scale, that is for the whole character, which is usually used to place a character in the scene and make sure it is at correct scale relative to the scene size, then we can just use a very simplified setup. So what we can do is just copy the skeleton root scale and apply it to the reference geometry so that it is properly scaled. So let's set up this first. We're going to first create another rig pose node. And I'm going to rename this to rig pose scale all. I'm going to connect it to the rest pose. And I'm going to copy information from this anim rig pose. So the root of the skeleton in this case is spine one. So I'm gonna copy this one here and I'm gonna copy this scale parameter and paste relative reference. Usually it would not be connected in this way as the character digital asset will have a scale parameter and that parameter should be connected here and here or at different places when you need scale. But for this example, uh, this will be fine. So what we just need is copy that global scale parameter here. Then we create another join the form node and just connect first into capture, second input to the capture pose and then third input, you connect to this rig pose scale. And I'm gonna create a switch node here going to push this a bit further down and I'm going to connect the switch node to the capture and then add this join the form so that we can properly compare the results. So switch 
compare results. So now, if I select the first input, so the new setup, we see we get a proper deformation here. So again, if I disable the delta mesh and enable the delta mesh, we see we now have a scaled character and proper deformation here. So what you have done here is just scale down reference geometry, basically. So this is the original, and by copying the root scale, we have scaled it down, so it, it is at proper scale, and now we can apply the delta mesh on top. So now first, let's just organize this a bit. So this will be scale all. And as you can see, the scale works just fine in this case. And if we have just one slider control on the character digital asset, we can just connect those scale values to both rig poses and it should work just fine. However, if we are dealing with different scales throughout the character, we need to apply this for every joint. So if I reset the transformations here, and I will just pose the arm here and scale it down. I'm gonna exaggerate this a bit so it will be easier to see what's happening. So when we scale down just this single joint, we see that the result here, the delta mesh result, is again having problems. And if I disable the delta mesh, we see what kind of result we would like to have with delta mesh on top. So in this case, every joint would have to be scaled in the rig pose scale as well um, to properly prepare the reference geometry. And this is a bit more problematic. First, it would require some time to properly connect all the joint scales here in the rig pose scale. And it would also probably not work correctly because we usually don't set scales in the rig pose, but rather throughout the setup. So we could have constraints, IK setups, and so on, all of which could affect the scale. So directly connecting the scales in uh, such case would not be a good solution. So to make this work properly, we have to work with joint local transform attributes. And the plan here is to extract the scale from the animated local transform attribute and apply it on the rest skeleton and leaving rotation translation alone and then computing the new local transform for the rest geometry skeleton. In this way, we get the rest skeleton with all the scales applied from the animated skeleton. So to extract the scales first from the animated pose and the rest pose, we can use the attribute transform extract. So this will be attribute transform extract animated pose. And we would like to get the scale values. So we're gonna use the crack transform, enable translation, rotation, scale, and shear. And attributes that we'd like to extract is the local transform. So now we have these translation, rotation, scale, and shear attributes of the local transform. So we can see here local transform scale, shear, translate, and rotate for each joint. And now we can also extract the rest skeleton. So I'm going to copy this node and just connect it to the rest pose. So this will be attribute transform extract rest pose. And we want to leave the translation rotation shears alone. We just want to copy the scales. We can use the attribute copy. First input going to rest pose. The second input goes into the animated attribute transform extract. And the attribute that we are copying is local transform scale. So attribute copy local transform scale. So what we have here is now, we haven't scaled down anything yet at this point. We just copied those values here. 
So now we have to compute a new local transform for the REST skeleton. And we can do that by using the attribute transform compute. So here we're going to use again the correct transform, apply all the attributes, and again use the local transform for the attributes. So as we can see, nothing still happening here. And this is because we have just computed the local transform and we have to update the word transform as well. So we can use the compute transform node. And just use compute world from local. So now we have the rest skeleton with correct scale from the animated pose. So if we compare this, we see this is the animated pose because we also rotated the skeleton. So let's rotate, for instance, here as well a bit, and so on. And if you look at the rest skeleton, the rotations and translations are ignored. We only copy the scales. So now again, we can just use another join the form. I just copy this one and connect the third input to the compute transform. And here, this will be join scale. Let's connect this to the switch node and organize this a bit. So this will be joint scale. And I'm going to properly rename the nodes as well. So this will be edge with transfer compute. REST pose local transform scale. And compute REST pose transform scale. So now, if you go here, and see the results. So this is without any scaling applied. If we apply the scale all, nothing happens because we just scale the shoulder. And if we apply the joint scale, we see we now get a proper deformation. So if we compare without delta mesh and with delta mesh, we see the difference is applied properly on the scale joints. So now we can test this on other parts of the skeleton as well. So see the scaling, and if we check between different outputs, we see that this is without the joint scale, and this is with joint scale. And let's set all these transformations to default. And this is how we can use scale in character setups and use the Delta Marsh sub. So hope this video was useful and see you in the next one.